Now you're in a good fellow, you ready? Which jam is the sausage in? Good boy, aren't you? I thought you were saving them to go in with the chicken on Sunday. Well, we could have used toast, but it wouldn't have been any fun with toast, would it? We want to have a lot of fun this morning, don't we? What's so special about this morning? I don't really. I just want it to be different from yesterday. Because sometimes you're sad and sometimes you're silly. Now, which end? Yeah. Which one? Yeah. It's that one. Yeah. Just be careful with that sausage, Ashley. Well, I'll wash my hands after. Oh, no, I don't mean that. It's just, you like that boy in the book that Fred bought for Josh, Pork Pie Pete. Yeah. Pork Pie Pete's a mate of yours, is he? No, he's not. He's yeah, getting living daylight sight of him. No, you can still play with the sausage, just don't make it look like one of your fingers. Claire, marry me. Marry me now. I'm tired of waiting. I don't see it. Point is what we both want. But we said 2007 was soon as we could manage. Yeah, well, that's because I was scared. What happened yesterday with Maxine's birthday? Well, it was like nature kicking in, telling me to look to the future and stop putting things off. Oh, we'll have to look at your dad's diary, won't we? The only diary I've got to look at is yours. Just say so you'll fit us in. Oh, Ashley. And don't say you're not ready because I've seen you writing Claire Peacock inside of it. Oh, <laughs> <oy. laughs> uh, look, I've explained, I've apologised, there's not a lot more I can do. Well, don't then. Expect me to believe your story anyway. I have to wrench it out here. Oh, is that the car? Yeah. I, uh, I hope didn't disturb you. We're up with the birds this morning. <laughs> you ready? Uh, yeah, hold on a minute. Listen, do you fancy drinking a Rover's Ledger I'm buying? Maybe. Oh, go on. I'm job hunting all day. I need something to look forward to. Oh, did you not have too much fun trying to set these two up? I'm sorry. Don't act innocently. To be honest, who's pulling his strings? Leave it. Well, you were off in Ireland for the weekend, weren't you? Sampling the black stuff with your mates. What's that got to do with anything? Well, your husband's entitled to enjoy himself and all. And we did, didn't we? Come on, Liz. You don't want to give yourself say you like something about. <laughs> you sure it's no trouble? Oh, yeah. Anything for family. Right. What do you think, Karen? Not bad, eh? Well, it's a godsend for Amy. Hey, you know, any time you want to live, you just have to ask. My husband runs a taxi firm. Yeah, I know, but if you want luxury... Do you know what? I can just see her. Sat in that audience clapping your little heart out for her. Oh, it wasn't like that. You're lying, Steve. Because I bet you were dead chuffed when she won that Tartmobile. Believe me, it wasn't like that. How do you get off me? Here, now you don't want to be nervous, you know, because girls don't like that in a fella. Who said I'm nervous? Yeah, well, I knew there was something going on when you had that chat with Monica this morning. No, because we're taking it slow this time. I've got a date with Maria. Oh, um, I hate to say this, but so have I and Kirk. Oh, you're going on a farsome, are you? Well, you know what they used to say about girls that used to go on them, don't you? No. Well, in my day, they used to say they were easy. Loose elastic brigade. Only way to stop them from getting into Anky Panky. Uh, whose idea was this? Maria's. Ha <laughs> Hey, well, say no more. You wanna watch it, you? She's gonna have you for me, love. I think she means beefcake. <laughs> no way, Kirk. Fist, fist. Tell Maria that we're going to Mallorca. What are you going on about? It's not for her to decide. It's mum and dad's holiday. Well, so what are you two arguing about then? Well, they can't go because Nan's having a knee done. So, so they said, why don't us two go instead? Yeah, and I'm like, how long have you got? As if I'm going anywhere with him. So he should go to me and fist. Why are you? Because I'm older than you. So what? I need a boost. Kirk, I work my fingers to the bone. I deserve it. Yeah, well, me and Fizz are a couple. Yeah, well, me... <laughs> All right, well, what's that got to do with that anyway? That is so typical of Tracy Barlow, is that? Landing on her backside in clover. You know, I'm not bothered about the car. Well, it's a bit of a signal, though, isn't it? Well, what question? Well, what else should I know? I bet it was something dead easy. She's no Carol Vorderman. Well, she's a damn sight sharper than Steve. You know, he said he didn't have a clue in that all of a sudden she's there. Well, no one forced him to stay, off. Yeah, his mum would have done. Trouble making cat. He's a big boy now, Karen. I know. And they would have been celebrating, wouldn't they? I mean, they would have been. 
Don't win a car and then just go to bed with a cup of cocoa, do you? Ah, but he's married to you, not her. Don't forget that. She'll never forget that. Do you know, it doesn't matter if they did nothing. It's just the fact that they spent time together just laughing and talking because, you know, the thought about it just, just really does my head in. Well, don't let her see you like this because then you'll be giving her everything she wants on a plate. What do I do then? You give your husband the rollicking of his life, then you repeat until he tells you every detail. Well, that's exactly what I'm afraid of, Jo. I don't mind if you want to talk to your dad first. There's no need. If we're happy, he'll be happy. I'll let me get on the phone and book it. I, uh, what? We've had a run on pork pies. Can you let us have half a dozen? I can't. So what's this you're booking then? Are you going on holiday? It'll get out sooner or later. Well, I can keep a secret. Well, you know me and Claire are engaged. Yeah. I pull it wedding forward. <laughs> oh! Here, yeah, you know, um... Oh, no, no, nothing like that. It's mm. only because we want to. Because you know it's true what they say. It's more special if you wait till wedding night. I wish me and our Jack had. So was it the happiest day of your life, then? Oh, yeah. Anyway, I won't pay you now, because uh, Roy will settle up later. There you go, thanks, Vera. Oh, thanks, love. Ta-da. See ya. Yeah. Yeah, now sit nitty gritty now. Mm. Which one should we book it for? I don't know. There's so much to think about, isn't there? Maybe sometime in the spring. Oh, no, 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 summer. Summer. Right, summer it is, then. Anything else? No. You helped Tracy Barlow win a car behind your wife's back and then pretended you were sat in the audience sucking a toffee. <laughs> That's not funny, Steve. I'm Gordon Brown. <laughs> it's worse than that. How can it be? They had a... phone a friend thing. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Tell me you didn't ring Karen. <laughs> so she won it for Tracy. Oh, Steve. All right, you don't have to tell me how stupid I've been. No, but I think you need to tell me. <laughs> Nothing happened with me and Tracy. Can you try and tell Karen that and she won't have it? She just doesn't trust me. No, oh, I'm filling up. And every time Tracy sticks a beak in, I can feel me marriage at stake. Hey, your marriage was at stake as soon as you answered your start of a ten, love. All I wanted to do was do something nice for me, Mum. Haven't you heard of chocolates? Do you believe me? Look, I'm not your problem, Steve, but you've not exactly helped yourself, have you? What do you mean? Well, when caught red-handed going to the game show with the mother of one's child, does one A, come clean, or B, tell off the truth and hope for the best? Well, it was a pilot anyway. I mean, they probably won't even show it. <laughs> you need to sit Karen down and tell her everything. I mean, who needs it to be shown sure with Tracy's big gob on the loose? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.